welcome back to my channel. So this morning I woke up and I, for some reason, am always so into the Allure Beauty Awards every year. I don't know why, but every time there's like that little sticker on something, it like makes me want to buy it. You know what I mean? So I was scrolling through there and I noticed there were so many drugstore makeup products. So I ran to my Walmart. I picked up as many as I could. I already had quite a few, but I really wanted to create a tutorial using products that won awards this year. A lot of them are first impressions, but a few of them I do already love. So this is the look that I created with those products. I'm so excited about so many of them. So I can't wait for you guys to see how I created this look and what products I'm super into. Without further ado, let's get into these products. I'm so excited to show you guys this makeup look that I created using all drugstore Allure Beauty Award winners for 2017. Well, as many as I could. There were a couple things that weren't winners that I needed to use, but I explain all that later. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look using all drugstore products that are award winners, then just keep on watching. I'm so excited to try out so many new products. This makes me so happy. I can't wait. So let's start it with brows. The first thing that I picked up was the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Fill Plus Shape Plus Define. They didn't have my shade, so I had to go with shade lighter. So I picked up Soft Blonde. There are a couple brow products that won awards, so I did pick up both, and I'll be trying to use both. What? Is this a baby rattle? Is that supposed to be there? Whoa, okay. So it's actually, yeah, it is like a powder, but the applicator is extremely, extremely fine. I got ahead of myself. I actually have a bunch of skincare stuff that I was gonna try out first to prep the skin. So first, one of the award-winning items from the drugstore is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Here's what it looks like. I just picked up a mini one. I wanna try this though. I don't have a cotton pad, but I had a cotton ball. So I'm just going to put a little bit. I shook it up and I'm gonna put some on this cotton ball. And I'll be honest, I did not wash my face well last night. I was really tired. This is probably gonna remove quite a bit of makeup actually. I'm not a good example. I usually am so good about washing my face at night, you guys, but last night I wasn't. It wasn't. Ooh, it feels really, really refreshing. I'm gonna go into this Burt's Bee Sensitive Eye Cream. So here it is. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see the applicator on that. I'm not sure how much you might need, so I'm just gonna start with that much. Yeah, that's enough for both eyes for sure. And I'm just gonna put this around the eye. This says it's a lightweight eye cream proven to moisturize the delicate eye area without causing redness or irritation. Obviously some of these skincare items I will have to update you guys a little bit later on um, since I don't really know how this eye cream is going to work but off of first impressions. Feels nice, sunk into the skin well, I like it. So I have two moisturizers that I picked up and I'm not sure which one I want to use. Both are hydrating moisturizers. One is from Simple, which I love. It is their hydrating booster, so that's one option. And then I have the Garnier Skin Active Antioxidant Super Moisturizer. This one's more of a gel and I'm kind of intrigued by it. I'm gonna do one on one side and one on the other. Is that weird? I'm gonna try out the simple one. It's a really watery texture, like a really clear gel-like texture. So I'm gonna put this on this side of the face. It feels like it also sunk into the skin pretty well. So now I'm gonna try the Garnier one. It's more of a gel consistency. It's like a light blue color. This one has a fragrance to it. The other one did not. This one's sunk in and it's a little bit sticky. I feel like this one might take a little longer to sink in. I like the initial feeling of this one better than this one. Right now, actually, I kind of like the moisture balm. It just feels really nice on the skin. Oh, I also picked up this. This was another award winner, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. I'm a sheet mask freak, so I was originally planning on doing this, but it might take too long to review. So I will wear it tonight and then leave a little note in the description box letting you know how I felt about it. But I thought I would mention this too. Okay, so now we can get into brows. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into that CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow thing. Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna start to kind of fill in the brow a little bit. The applicator is really interesting on this. I feel like that was a really easy way to fill in my brows. So yeah, that took like a minute to fill in both of my brows. So if I was ever in a rush, I feel like it'd be a really great product for that. I do have another brow product, but I think I'll save that till the end. I do want to carve out my brows with some concealer, and the concealer that I picked up that won an award was the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer. I got mine in the shade Fair. So this is what I'm going to use to carve out the brows, and also I'll, I'll try it on my face too later. So far I'm really liking how this concealer is performing. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow primer as well, so I'm just going to take what's left and kind of work it on the eyelid. 
It's a really lightweight yet like fuller coverage concealer. So far, I really like the formula. Okay, so far, I'm super into that concealer. I'm just gonna set the eyes. This is a translucent powder from Rimmel. It's the Match Perfection Translucent Powder. They only have one shade in this. I was so excited to see a drugstore translucent powder win an award because I personally have been on the lookout for one, like a really good one, but I have high hopes for this one. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this from the lid on a brush and we're just gonna sweep it across the lid to set everything. Um, I feel like the texture of that was really nice. I won't be able to really tell until I set my under eyes with it and set my entire face. So I'll give a better opinion after I do that. I'm gonna use a L'Oreal eyeshadow. This one was not an award winner, but just to create the look, I'm gonna use this. It's the L'Oreal Color Riche Single Matte Eyeshadow in the shade 304, Matte It Up, as our transition shade. Actually, this is kind of crazy, but this is the eyeshadow that I used in my last video, and I had no idea that it had won an award, but I know why now. It's so amazing. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic Eyeshadow in the shade Brass Knuckles. So I'm just going to use this anyways. I'll try to make a little bit of a different look, but I am going to use this all over the lid with my fingers. I just, I love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous metallic shade. And metallic shadows are so perfect for fall and winter, I feel like. I was really happy to see this next eyeshadow on the list. It's the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche eyeshadow in the shade 209 Noir. Noir C'est Noir. It's just a black eyeshadow and I ended up purchasing this. L'Oreal did send me a few of these single eyeshadows, but not this one. But I've been loving the formula, so I'm really excited to try out this black single shadow. We will see how it performs. But I'm just gonna take this on a little blending brush. So I'm just gonna start to work it into the outer third of the eye. And then using whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna blend it through the crease. I'm just adding layers till it gets as intense as I want. As always, I'm not so concerned about this outside portion here, because I will clean it up later. So to blend it out, I'm gonna take a little blending brush in that transition shade that we used earlier and kind of dust it on the very top of the black shadow to make sure it's really nice and diffused. I will say I love how these shadows blend out. I'm gonna pop a little bit more of that metallic shade over top of the black just to make sure it blends nicely. But I'm stopping in the middle of the lid because I really do want that black shadow on the outer portion. So now let's clean up those edges with a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna wipe any fallout as well as create a nice line. And then I'm just going to pat over that with my finger to make sure the edges are really nice and diffused. So the next award winner was this eyeliner. This is from Maybelline, it's their Curvitude Liner. And I think what's special about this is the shape of the tube. It's supposed to make it really easy to apply, so I'm excited to put it to the test. Please excuse my dirty hand, but do you see the angle of this brush? I'm really excited, let's see. There's one wing down. I will say that felt so easy to do. I love the way it glided really nicely over my eyelid. It didn't get patchy or skip or anything like that. And I do like how it's shaped because it helps me get into these inner corners really well. Oh my gosh, yes. I have to say, folks, I really like that. I found it to be extremely easy to do a really nice, sharp winged liner. I'm really into this. Question is, does it dry down matte or is it a little more shiny? I don't know, it might be a little bit more shiny. I usually prefer matte, but really like the applicator on this a lot. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to try this for so long. It's the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. I got mine in the lightest shade and it still isn't that light. This is in the shade Ivory. I think this is the lightest shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over the face. I'm starting out with two pumps and I'm going to take my Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush and let's just blend this out. It does have like a fragrance to it, which I don't always love in foundations, but what can you do? I'm actually going to finish up applying this with a beauty blender. This did win an award as well. It's been around for a long time and I'm sure it's won many awards, but it's a classic in your kit. I know it's not drugstore, but I thought since it did win an award that I could use it, so hopefully you won't mind. <laughs> I like the coverage. It does give a nice healthy glow to the skin. I feel like I do own foundations that do give me a little bit better coverage, so I'm not sure if this is meant to be a super full coverage foundation or what. Yeah, it says lightweight full coverage makeup, and I see what they mean by lightweight. I do feel like it feels lightweight, and it did give a full coverage. Um, I just don't really want to keep adding more and more layers because I feel like it's just going to look like more and more makeup. So have you guys tried this foundation out? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. So I'm going to use that same CoverGirl Outlast 
last all day concealer under the eyes and to brighten the center of my face and let's blend that out with the beauty blender I have to say I really like how this blended out I feel like it really brightened the eyes but it doesn't feel too heavy at all so let's set the whole face with the Rimmel match perfection translucent powder I'm just gonna use a brush and just kind of press this on top of the concealer I'm making sure to set the under eyes first so that they don't crease and then I'm just going to kind of pat this all over the face it's a very fine powder, like it really does have a lot of kick up when I put my brush in the pan. But it does feel like a pretty nice powder. I'm going to go into the eyeshadow single that we used on the transition shade and just kind of buff this on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to hop into the black matte shadow and I'm going to start to buff this on the outer third of the lash line and start to kind of blend it in slightly till about halfway. But I am focusing most of the pigment on the outer corner and then bringing it in. So then I'm going into the metallic eyeshadow that we used and I'm just going to start to pop this from the inner corner and just overlap it over top of the black so we kind of mimic what we have going on on the top lid. So now I'm going to line the waterline with another award winner. Let's just assume they're all award winners unless I say they're not, okay? Um, this one is from Burt's Bees. It's the Nourishing Eyeliner. I got mine in the shade Warm Brown. They had black and gray as well. I got something on my eye. But I got brown because I'm actually out of a brown eyeliner right now. So I was planning on putting this just in the waterline. Let's do it. And I'm actually going to also work it on the lash line itself. Just on the outer third of the eye to deepen that a little bit. There were two mascaras that I owned that were on the list. The Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and the L'Oreal Voluminous Paradise. I'm trying to choose which one I should use. Maybe I'll do the Big Shot because I've been using the L'Oreal one a lot, but I love both of these. So I'm just going to pop this on the top and bottom lashes. So there wasn't a drugstore bronzer that won an award, so this one's an award in my opinion. So I'm just going to really quickly warm up the face with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So for blush, I picked up the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush. Um, there, there wasn't a specific color that won, so I chose the shade Sweet Pea. It looks like this. It's really pretty. I love the flower print inside of it. Let's see what it looks like on the cheeks. That is so pretty! Really, really pigmented. I actually wasn't expecting that much pigment. So I'm gonna blend it out with my translucent powder brush. I actually like this so much, I'm gonna take a little bit on my eyeshadow brush and just really lightly sweep it through the crease a little bit. It's so pretty! I love it! They had quite a few shades, but I felt like this one was most appropriate for like fall, winter, you know? For highlighter, I maybe should have done this before I set my face. But the NYX Away We Glow Highlighter won awards. I have one, and this is in the shade Crystal Glare. So let's hope that it blends out okay on top of all this powder. I don't know, this might be a bad decision on my part, but I'm just going to apply some and dab it out with my finger. Okay, I am taking a sponge to it. Okay, I will say it does blend out best with your finger first, and then you can kind of go over it with a sponge. But it is kind of like sticking to the powder. So that might have been a mistake on my part. It is a really pretty highlight, but next time I'm not going to set the face. But it is a very pretty, pretty highlight. I popped a little in the inner corner, um, but it did take off some product in the center of my nose. So I think I'm going to grab my Essence highlighter to fix it. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful highlighter. I just feel like it got patchy because I had powder on. I should have known better. So I'm just going to take my Essence highlight <laughs> and add a little something on top. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking. I'm going to set the face before we pop lashes on. I've been literally liking this. It's the same setting spray I've used the past couple of videos. The Kiss Pro Touch Makeup Setting Spray. So I'm just going to set everything really quick. So next I'm going to pop on the Kiss Foam Ink Collection Lashes in the shade, in the shade, in the style Little Black Dress. I actually already have these. So when I saw that they won an award, I was pretty excited. I was like, oh. I'll try them out. I have yet to try them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of duo glue on the back of them and pop them on. Those lashes are very fluffy and big. I'm not quite used to them. I do kind of see why they have an award though because they're so fluffy and soft looking and wispy and glamorous. So I'm going to take the Infallible Metallic Paints eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Rose Chrome. This did not win an award but I just really want to pop this in the inner corner just to give it a little bit of oomph. And maybe the slightest bit underneath the brow bone, whatever is left on the brush. Okay, so let's get to our second brow product. This is from Maybelline. It's the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer, and I got mine in the shade Soft Brown. So I just brushed through my brows with a spoolie, and now let's see how this goes. The applicator is super unique. Look at that. 
Interesting. Hopefully this doesn't ruin my brows. We shall see. Well, look at the difference between that brow and that brow. Um, hello. It has like legit fibers in it. <gasps> Holy moly. Let me be honest. This is like one of the coolest ways I've seen my brows in a long time. I just feel like it's almost too much with these um with these false lashes like i feel like this kind of a brow would be so beautiful with just a really simple eye and maybe a bold lip for fall really like what that did for sure but for me personally i feel like the contrast here i'm not loving it's a little bit too bold maybe once i finish everything up it'll be fine but wow that is so crazy my brows look so full listen i don't have brows i'm really 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 surprised by that i really like this actually okay so for lips there was quite a few drugstore lipsticks that won awards so maybe i'll just kind of like go through them the first one was this milani a more matte metallic lip cream and the shade that actually won the award they didn't have at my Walmart so I picked up a different one I'll tell you what it was the one that won the award was the shade the ultimate it's a berry but I decided to choose this one called pretty problematic it's a really cool shade so I thought it was cool so let's try this well it smells like cupcakes well I'll tell you what I like this shade a lot it feels like a really comfortable formula it dries down pretty quickly I really like this shade. I like metallic berries. I feel like they're wearable. So that's that one. Take a good look. I'm gonna try on a different color. Okay. I like this though. I feel like I have an idea in mind of a look to use with this lip color and I'm excited to do it. So the next lipstick that won an award was the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. I think it was the entire line that like won just because of the formula. Um, so I picked up one shade. This one is Nudist Peach. Let's see how this looks. Oddly enough, I actually kind of like this shade with this look. I don't know, but I really like the shade. It felt like it went on a little bit sheer, but now that it's drying down, it's not patchy, but it was a little bit more sheer than other liquid lipsticks that I've tried before. I'm gonna let it dry down. I think that's such a pretty color, don't you guys? You know me and my peaches though. So this next one, I don't think I'm gonna put on because I think it does stain your lips and I have a nude color that I wanna put on last. So I'll swatch it for you guys though, and I will try to use this in a tutorial in the near future. So this is what the gloss looks like. It's a really nice stain. It's kind of like that those popsicle lips that I always see going around, you know what I'm saying? This one is called Pop Poppy. I'm really excited to play around with that, um, but I did want to show you guys because that line did win an award too. I don't think there was a specific shade there either, just all of them. And then last but not least, I wanted to kind of use this last. This is the Baby Lips Crayon Balm. I got mine in the color Toasted Taupe, and this is the color I wanted to finish off with. Yes! Since my eyes were so bold, I wanted to finish off with a nude lip. I really am liking the formula of this right now. It feels so comfortable on the lips, but it makes them look really hydrated and they feel hydrated. This color is super nude, which I, normally I actually don't go for, but I must say I really do like it. For like an everyday nude color, this would be beautiful. So that completes the makeup look, you guys. Um, I do have a few honorable mentions that I wanted to tell you about, and I will also link them down below. Um, I guess this isn't an honorable mention, but I did pick up a nail polish that won an award, and I'm wearing it on my nails right now. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Argan Oil Formula in the shade Cool Cucumber, and look how cool it is. Really deep, like, green, but it kind of has, like, a bluish tint to it, kind of. It's mostly green though, and I really, really like it. Um, it's kind of a messy manicure right now because <laughs> I was opening boxes and things and um, kind of ruined them because I painted them right before I filmed. Really into this color for fall and for winter. I feel like it's going to be beautiful. I'm excited about that. Then I also picked up the Essie Gel Setter Top Coat. This also won an award, and I'm all about that gel-looking nail. I'm excited about this. I, I'm wearing it on my nails, and it gives a really nice shine. I will have to wear it for a longer time to see how it holds up. So I will be updating you guys on the nail polishes later. But so into the color and super into the finish of the top coat, so I'm really into those. And there were a few more things that won awards that I own that I wanted to tell you guys about because I back them up as well. So I'm gonna go through them really quickly. If you wanna kind of find out more, I'll link everything down below. Um, but one of the first ones is Gimme Brow. This won an award. I love this. I feel like it really helps make your brows volumized. However, I'm kind of into this Maybelline one. I mean, look at that. My brows look so fluffy. I'm kind of obsessed. So Gimme Brow is a great product. If you're looking for a tinted brow gel. Um, another drugstore item that was on the list is the Infallible Paints 
Electric Blue Liner. I did a tutorial with this forever ago. Really, really like the color of it. There it is swatched right there. This won an award. This is something that I would recommend as well. I was really excited to see the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. I love this. I love this. I use it at night mainly. I just put it throughout my hair and it just makes your scalp tingle. It just like soothes any itchiness, any dry patches and smells delicious, feels amazing. So I was really excited to see that in there. It's another thing I would recommend. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost also won an award. I talked about this in my drugstore favorites video that I posted last week. I need to pull this out again. I really do like it. My skin's just kind of been bad so I like something with more full coverage but this is a really great foundation if you like more tinted moisturizers or if you like a hydrating type of foundation. This is great. Never settles into fine lines or anything like that. I love it. Um, another thing that's on there is one of my favorite things of all time, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is something that I recommend to absolutely everybody. I know it's not drugstore, but it's one of my favorite things that I've ever, ever used. It's one of those things that I've run out of so many times and repurchased so many times. So it definitely deserves an award. I feel like it's won awards before, maybe not, but... I was happy to see that on there too. The Anastasia Brow Wiz won an award. This is one of my all-time favorite brow products. Amazing, amazing, amazing for every day. When in doubt, I grab this. I love it. Oh, another thing that won an award, it's in my shower, but I'll show you a picture. The Gillette Venus Swirl Razor. This is what it looks like. This is the razor I've been using for the past like five years, I swear. The Gillette Swirl or however long it, it's been out. That's how long I've been using it and I love it. I've switched to other things for a couple months, but it just gave me razor burn and I didn't like it, so I went back to that. So I was happy to see that on there too. I really do love that. Guys, there's so many more products that are on the Allure Best of Beauty list for 2017, so I'll link the list down below if you guys wanna check it out. I don't know why, but I always find it fascinating. So if you guys wanna see what other products are on there, there's a lot of drugstore like shampoos and body lotions and things like that that are on there that I didn't mention because I was mostly pumped about all the makeup. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. But with that being said, I really did like everything that I tried. I really liked the Maybelline Brow thing. I would recommend going out and trying that. I really like the black eyeshadow. Um, I'm so kind of unsure about the Healthy Elixir Foundation. I will have to wear it a lot more. I'll be using it in more drugstore tutorials coming up and hopefully I can get a better opinion. Um, I was really impressed with the Rimmel Match Perfection Setting Powder. I feel like my face looks really, really nice. I feel like it set everything really nicely. I will say my first impression on this was really good. I love this shade, so I am really excited about that. I liked the consistency of the Outlast Concealer a lot. You guys know how I feel about this metallic eyeshadow. Bomb. Love it so much. And I was really intrigued by all the lip products as well. I don't know. I feel like this was a really successful first impressions. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked down below if there was something that you found interesting. Let me know your thoughts on these types of videos. You guys know I always love your opinions. So give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you would like to see on my channel. I've honestly been having so much fun doing these drugstore videos. I'm finding so many hidden gems, I feel like. I know there might be some products that may not be hidden anymore. Maybe a lot of you own them. But for me, it's really been fun to kind of dive into the drugstore world and find some bomb products. So I hope you guys like this video. I will see you all in the next one. Love you. Bye.